We are taking R D Sharma solution, class ten maths, chapter nine, exercise nine point three. This is of arithmetic progression. In different uh, edition, this uh, chapter can be different, but it is arithmetic progression. Find the tenth term of the A P. So how to find out the nth term or tenth term? Since we have an A P, then the nth term will always be A plus n minus one into D. This a is the first term, d is the common difference, and this n is the number of term. That is the nth term. So, in order to find the tenth term, what we will do? We will just replace n by ten. So, the tenth term will be always a plus nine d. Similarly, if you want to find eleventh term, it will be a plus ten uh, d. So, always this term will be one less than this one, and just use the formula a plus n minus one into d. So in order to find out the tenth term, we will use a plus nine d. What is the first term? A is one. So one plus nine into d. What is the d? Four minus one. D is always computed by taking the next one in the consecutive terms and taking the difference or removing the the previous one from it. So four minus one. This is equal to three. You can take these two also. Ten minus seven is going to be three. So every time you get common difference as three. Just use it here. Nine three is twenty seven. Twenty seven plus one is twenty eight. This is how you find out the nth term. Here we have uh, this as the A P. Now first term is root two, so we have to find out say eighteen term. So A eighteen will be equal to A plus seventeen D, right? A plus n minus one into D. Eighteen minus one into D. A plus seventeen D. A is what root two plus seventeen into D. What is D? Three root two minus root two. So three root two minus root two is two root two. So just use two root two here. So what do you get? You can take just root two common. This will be one plus seventeen into two is what thirty four, and thirty four plus one is thirty five. So it will be thirty five root two. So this is your eighteenth term. Here we have a as eighteen. And d as eight minus thirteen, that is minus five. Eight minus thirteen is minus five. You can take any of these. Two minus two, three, three, eight. You can take. So this is going to be your common difference d. So d is minus five. A is your thirteen. Now you have to find out say a nth term. So a n will be equal to a plus n minus one into d. That is thirteen plus n minus one. We don't know n, and we know the d. So this will be thirteen plus. Let us use the sign minus three minus five n plus five. So thirteen plus five is eighteen. Eighteen minus five n. This is going to be your a nth term. Here we have a as minus forty. So a as minus forty plus n minus one into d. So n is ten term. So it will be n minus one, ten minus one. So it will be nine into d. We have to find out. So minus fifteen, minus of minus forty. So minus fifteen plus forty it is. Forty minus fifteen is what? It is going to be twenty-five. Twenty-five. So nine into twenty-five is two twenty-five. You have to subtract forty from it. It is going to be one eighty-five. It one eighty-five is your tenth term. Here we have a as one hundred and seventeen. So a plus we have to find eight eighth term. So it will be seven eight minus one. That is a plus seventy. A is what one one seven plus seven into D. What is D one zero four minus one one seven? It is going to be minus thirteen. So you have to just solve this. It is going to be twenty six. Here we have A as ten. So A as ten plus n minus one into D. You have to find eleventh term. So eleven minus one is ten. So A plus ten D ten into what is the D? Ten point five minus ten point zero. It is going to be zero point five. That is. We have to take ten point five, subtract it, subtract ten from it. So it is going to be zero point five. Just you use it here. When you solve it, you are going to get fifteen as the eleventh term. Here we have a as three by four. So a plus n minus one into d. N is what nine. So a plus eight d. You have to find out. Nine minus one is eight. A is what three by four plus eight into d. D is what five by four minus three by four. Five by four. Minus three by four is two by four. That is going to be half. Just take two by four. Take one by four common if you want. You don't want to do all these, so just take one by four common. So three plus eight to the sixteen. It is going to be nineteen by four. This is going to be your ninth term. 
which term of the AP this is 248. So here we have A also and 8 minus 3 so D also A and D is given. We have to find which term is 248 that is A plus N minus 1 into D is given as 248. A is given 3 and is not known. D is what? 8 minus 3 that is 5. So you have to find N here. So how do we find out? This is the solution in front of you. Let me solve it. 3 plus 5 N minus 5 equal to 248. So this is going to be 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Take it here. 5 N is going to be 250. So N will be equal to 50. So the 50th term, the 50th term is 248. This is how we have to solve the others also. So I hope you will be able to solve this. Uh, I'll take this one and this one. So 84, 80, 76. So A is 84. So A plus N minus 1 into D. So 84 plus N minus 1 into D. N I we don't know. D is what? 80 minus 4. 80 minus 84. That is minus 4. And this is going to be. Uh, it is asking that what term is 0. So I'll put it at 0. So 84 minus 4N plus 4 equal to 0. So 4N will be equal to 84 plus 84 and plus 4. 4 and minus 1 this is minus 4 84 and I'll just take this minus 4 and my plus 4 84 plus 4 is 88 and then I'll just take n equal to 88 by 4 this is going to be 22 so the 22nd term is 0 I'll take one more of this which is uh, this one we have to tell which term is the first negative term we have to tell which term is first negative term I'm taking this so here we have a as 121 right so a is a plus n minus 1 into d I'll take a is what 121 and we don't know d is 117 minus 121 117 minus 121 it is going to be minus 4 so minus 4 now this is going to we have to find which one which nth term first n term is going to be the first negative term so it has to be greater than 0 after that we can say that okay the next term will be negative so which is the term which is just positive after that it will be negative so it is going to be 12 and this is minus 4 n plus 4 greater than 0 so we have this as 40 12 plus 4 uh, this is 121 yes 121 plus 4 is 125 125 minus 4 n so 0 125 then 4n n is 125 by 4 and that is going to be around 31.25 so that's this is n is uh, see what i've done here is n is has to be uh, less than 31.25 that is it has to be less than say 32 31 point, uh, i'll just take 31 then 32 so n has to be less than 31.25 so here it will be 31.25 and has to be less than 31.25 that is this this region or this area is where this is positive after 31.25 it is negative so what is the first integer term which is uh, which is the number means this is 31 this can this will be 31.25 this will be 31.5 and this will be 32 so below this we have positive and above this we have negative so what is the number actual number integer after this 31.25 it is 32 so 32 will be the first negative number 30 second will be the first negative number so this is uh, one more exercise of arithmetic progression we'll be taking all the exercises later thank you so much take care of yourself